Hi guys, me Danielle Danny Buttons, and it's officially July. What? That's crazy. So today I'm going to show you my July plans. This is probably going to be a short and sweet video because I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. One and two because I really am hoping to focus on a few specific things. So there's not too much to show you overall. To be honest, who knows what's going to happen? I feel like these goal videos i need to start re-watching the goal videos compared to my end of the month and see if i actually do anything that i wanted to do because that's interesting but what i did is two different things i have a few books that i want to work out of and i actually have a few supplies that i want to work with so i'm going to show you that first because they're on top so first off if you saw my video called like a marker experiment i got a giant set of markers and i split it into many smaller sets here is the mindware one. So I ended up making five smaller sets and I put tape on them and then the tape did not stick. So mindware, um, I made five smaller sets and the last two sets that I didn't do on camera, I had to use a few Cali Art and Tao trees from my original sets, but I got to the full five, which was nice. But now I wanna actually start using these. So that is my goal. I wanna see if it is as efficient as I was hoping it would be. And I just wanna do some color by number. So secondly, and similarly, I have just brought these over as a representation. I have a giant box of Sharpies and my Sharpie collection is incredibly random. I have just some Sharpies that I've had for over a decade that I've just like found amongst my supplies. And it's to the point where I have no idea what's low on ink, what's doing good, anything like that. So I would really love to make progress in my Sharpie box and kind of like organize it and use stuff up and things. That's kind of gonna be my second half of the year goal, which I had a whole goal video, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not. I really do think I did. It's, oh, it's actually next to me, and I can peek if I did. Um, mm, no, it says finished books. But I also would love to like finish up supplies. I think I went a little bit crazy buying supplies, especially markers of all sorts, so I would love to finish up some stuff. I have a few supplies that I haven't used in forever and I have some stuff that I don't really love. So I need to either pass it on to someone who will like it or finish it up because it's really satisfying when you actually get to like use something entirely. So this is the Mystic Gem sets and I think I've only done one picture with this set in specific, which is why I still kept it in here. That and because my Sharpie bin is full. So my goal is gonna be to get enough room in my Sharpie bin that these will fit in there. So, and I also would just love to color more with just this, but you know, let's put this carefully to the side. Next up, you saw this in my haul, but these are my new watercolor tin and my new roll of watercolors. So I would love to do more watercoloring. Um, that's just one of my favorite methods of coloring. I always say that if I could only have one genre of supply it would be watercolor so i would just like to play around with these more i think this goes nice and quick and can work in single or double side books so i need to do more of that plus these are the newest colors that i got the vintage pastel set and they're super beautiful so i look forward to using this more and i just feel really fancy when i use it but I have to get used to it being so big because they used to be so tiny that it was like really easy to put anywhere. And now it takes up a little more desk real estate, but that's okay. Okay, now I have books. So first thing I'm trying to focus on this month and really for the rest of the year is Disney. I mentioned that too. I have two Disney books with me. Um, I'm really hoping to color in a lot of my Disney books, both because I have such this big collection that I need to just work more in. I feel like I keep buying them, but not using them. And to be honest, I want to buy more of them. So it only makes sense that we try to work in them. So this is Grand Classics Tomb 8. I actually outlined this one. So here's a sneak peek. The Gargoyles from Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I need to finish coloring this in, but I'm excited to work more in here. I think I only have one page done in there. I actually, do I have any page? I did another outline of Rapunzel that I never finished, but I don't know if I ever finished. Oh, I see one, I saw one, I saw one. 
but I'm gonna, nope, I don't think I've ever finished an entire page in here. So obviously volume eight is one of the newer ones. It's the highest tomb in the Grand Classics series, but I need to still work in there. And speaking of uncolored Disney books, I have princesses. So this is what I got in my most recent purchase. And these are so, so detailed compared to a lot of earlier volumes and I'm very intimidated. So I very much would like to do some pages from in here, or at least one. One for this month would make me happy. So finish my gargoyle and do something from this book are my Disney goals, my minimal Disney goals. I would love to do even more, but. And focusing on finishing things. I haven't done any of my, oh, this is the wrong book. Eh, that's all right, I'll just talk about this as a representation. If you remember, what month? In February, I colored a mandala every single day from 100 Beautiful Mandalas by Camelia Angelkova. So this is 101 Unique, which is also a great book, but I would really love to work more in 100 Beautiful, and I think I'm getting close to finishing it. I probably have like 30 left, which obviously sounds like a lot, like that's more than a lot of smaller books, but 30 out of 100 is pretty good. I'm on my way, and if I like make a really good effort at it, that could be something I finish by the end of the year. So we're gonna give that a go. I think my next video is actually going to be a mandala, and I'm going to do a patriotic mandala for 4th of July. Um, I'm hoping to film that tomorrow so I can have it up for you guys while I'm having my 4th of July barbecue, so. But yes, I need to do some more mandalas with glitter. I need more glitter. Then I would love to finish this book or really a mindwear book, but I picked this one because I have three pages done and I actually forgot to show you this in my um, monthly wrap up. So I'm glad that I picked this to show you now. This is a wolf howling. I did this for the nighttime prompt and yeah. I have three pages done in here now, and there's only 18. So I feel like I could finish this in a month or two. I also really want to purchase more of these books. So I made the mistake of not looking through, um, like looking up flip throughs before I purchased. And I just like looked at the cover and then looked at the back and made my decision. But I very much recommend looking up flip throughs if you're only going to be buying one or two to make sure you're getting pictures that you like. I personally am not super in love with this volume. Like if I was picking again, I don't know if it would be my top choice. So I intend to look it up and make my choices based on flip throughs, so. That's always just a good idea in general. They usually have deals that if you like buy four of these, four or more, you get a discount overall. So that's what I do, or I did last time I got four. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up with another four. So that's that one. And then finally, this might end up being a video this month also, we'll find out. But this is Christmas Fantasy by Color Questopia. And it is my goal to finish this one up. I have a bunch left. So I don't plan on doing the ones in the back. Um, I don't know. I don't throw the books out when I'm done. So in theory, I could always go back to any of these if I need any of them for a prompt or anything like that. But um, I just work backwards for the most part. So I do have a bunch left. So I don't know if this is gonna be possible. But I'm thinking I either want to do like a 12 hour vlog with this or just throughout the whole month I'll see how much I can get done. Um, and this would be like my Christmas in July video. So we'll see. But that is my goal. And that's it. That's really all my goals this month. Again, who knows? I feel like I say things at the beginning of the month and everything changes as we go on because I don't as much as I love having prompts, I don't love to like corner myself. So if I'm not feeling any of it, I'll do something else. And if I like become obsessed with a mandala and only want to do mandalas, that's what I'll do. You know what I'm saying? So that's it for me. Next video, like I said, will hopefully be a video of me doing a mandala for 4th of July. 
So if you have any requests for videos this month, let me know. I have a few spaces open and I always love requests. And let me know if there's any like tags or anything going around. I feel like it's been a little bit and I miss them. But we're also almost done with our challenge cup and we can refill it soon. So that's really exciting. Maybe I'll do some of those. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video down below. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time. Comment anything you want to comment. Uh, there's no code word. I'm so sorry. It's too short a video. Unless you want to say button. But anyway, that one, just slip it in there. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Bye. I'll see you again in two days with something different. Bye, guys.